Hello and welcome to Ask a Geek, where your questions get answered with as little geek speak as possible. Today's session comes from um, Wilkins Engineer High Media Specialist. She had several different calendars that she had to book um, or uh, create calendars for people to book the spaces, labs, and um, the library, things like that. So she began using our shared space calendar. Uh, we have this, we're doing this at several different schools. So here's how you, as a regular faculty member, staff or faculty, can go about reserving that space, say in the library or in the lab. Um, first, you're going to be shared the directions. So I'm going to give you the written directions, but I'm also providing this video in hopes that that will help. So this is what the directions will look like. It's kind of a long form here. Your section for scheduling an event is down here. So I'll go ahead and close that up for now. Um, you'll also have shared with you um, in your drive. So go into my drive and in shared with me, uh, the person who created all those calendars shared. We're using Wilkinson Junior High as an example shared a, a spreadsheet with, in this case, one, eight different lab, no, seven different labs. Two of them are in the library to reserve, and then the rest are um, different computer labs around the area to reserve. This could go for the gym, this could go for any area that you need to reserve. Shared spaces is what we call it. So you've been given, provided this um, in your shared, so if you're in Google Drive, you go to shared with me, You'll see it here. You can move it into your drive. I can tell you that Wilkinson Junior High doesn't necessarily have to do that because what the um, media uh, tech has done is saved it in the nest. So Wilkinson Junior High has their own nest. And if you go in the nest, you will see WJH Shared Spaces. So this document you will use any time you go to reserve a room. It's going to be for you, you only, so you're not going to be able to edit, but these links are real important. So let's get started. Open up your calendar, just like you would normally open up your calendar. Let's say the event that you want is, uh, that you want to book, is going to be on um, Thursday, September 1st, and you're going to book, you want to book one of the labs, and we'll go ahead and make one of the labs. Now she's also shared with you all the different spaces that are available. So in this case, the lab that I want to book I don't know if you can see this, way down here at the bottom is Wilkinson Junior High Lab 418. So that's the lab I want to book. I can click on that calendar and see that there are no events at all on September 1st. So I am good to go to go ahead and reserve that spot. So I'm on my calendar, my own calendar. Um, I'm going to, I know that the event is at 11 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it, double click on it to open it up um, and just create the event like normal. Um, and I'm going to create testing with, let's say, testing password with students. That's what I'm going to be doing in the lab from, say, 11 to 12 o'clock. And I reserve it. If you put here, you don't have to, but you could put a lab. I think it was 418, or the lab it was that I was reserving. You don't have to put that there necessarily. Um, and that's it. Put, put the basics there for you. Here's where it gets a little bit more unique. Notice the tabs that I have along the top. The one tab that I said you're going to go into and you're going to need is the WJH School Shared Spaces. You'll have this for your school. Um, so this, this calendar, these links are real important. So I'm going to go to Lab 418. That's the lab I wanted to book. And this link right here so this where it gets a little weird, but it, it'll make sense to you after you see it all. I'm going to click on that and highlight that link. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come back over here to my calendar. Created the event. Everything was set. I'm going to, as strange as this sounds, invite that calendar. And the way you invite the calendar is you go over to the Add Guests and you paste that link in there. And then you can just hit Add, and it adds it down here. It opens up something else for you, too, once you've done that, is it opens up this little tab right here, which is a little bit tougher to see. Find a time. You're going to 
click on there just to make sure that this time, this space from 11 to 12 is not being utilized on that calendar. So you're fine. Nobody's using it. You're all set. And you can hit save. What that does is it saves the space on, not only on your calendar, if you notice that my calendar is yellow, it also saves it on the Wilkinson Junior High Lab calendar. That's gray. So I have both calendars represented. I could go ahead and turn mine off and see that I have that booked it. No one else can use it. And it didn't, it sounds weird, but it didn't take a whole lot of effort. The copying and pasting is weird. Um, so review this, look back over this if you need to, uh, but also know you have got directions inside your drive that have been shared with you. Um, and the directions are called shared spaces. And I'll pull it open so you can see it. Managing school shared spaces has been sh saved with you with the directions of what I just did in this video but also the sh school shared spaces that are specific to your school or your county or the county spaces. So like the teacher training center, the TLC, the teacher learning center, things like that. So I hope this has helped. Thank you.